I know what you're thinking. You're doing WrestleMania week. Why are you playing AEW Fight Forever? Well, as you see, Season 3 is out. But there's two things I want to do in AEW Fight Forever. The first one is basically what the video title is today. And basically this is being recorded when uh, Claudio Castanoli has been released. Jamie Hayter has not been released yet. I wanted to do, <coughs> excuse me, Beat the Elite on, I think I already done easy. I did that with Punk last time, right? Yeah, so we're going to go up to normal because I just had a hell of a time with 2K24. And don't worry, the next video is going to be an AEW themed video. And showing that guy right there, he's going to be a part of it because I read something somewhere. But, oh, I should do it with her instead, but no. We're going to use Cody to finish the story in AEW by beating the Elite. Let's get to it, shall we? Spoilers. This will not be the last time you see Cody Rhodes during this week. Tony Storm. Outdated Tony Storm, I should say. This Excuse me. Is set for one fall. All right, nice. Oh, it's been a while since I played uh, Fight Forever. So I'm trying to remember. Adrenaline. So, um, yeah, this is being recorded, and I, the reason why I'm doing this too is because I like to think WrestleMania is more of a celebration of wrestling, and not just for WWE, even though WWE will say it's just a celebration for, oh crap, for WWE, <clears throat> but um, if you recall, whenever WrestleMania comes to town, there's a lot of indie promotions, especially Ring of Honor tends to have like special things that happen during Wrestlemania week and uh, oh wow it's been so long since I played this game I'm trying to remember and I wanted to for the longest time do a video with Cody in this game because I think the crossroads in this game is uh, devastating and amazing <clears throat> and it's still crazy to me that they kept Cody in but you know um, what do you call there Kenny Omega there said he wanted to keep Cody in just to, because he really helped with the uh, the legacy of AEW, which is true. It's true. So that was very nice of Kenny to do. And like I said, I haven't beaten it on normal yet, so I thought I'd do normal. And like I said, uh, tomorrow will be another AEW video. And let's just say, here's a hint. Like I said, you saw Kenny Omega. Well, let's just say if you've been paying attention all week... With the WWE 2K videos, let's just say Kenny Omega is involved in a video kind of like that, but with Fight Forever. All right. <clears throat> and again, I know you're like, oh, but it's WWE. Is it not AEW week? <laughs> Why don't you do an AEW week? <laughs> now, uh, somebody asked me to do a Road to Elite with Pac. I might do that one day. Yeah, Road to Elite videos did pretty decent. On my channel, the Owen Hart, MJF. Um, God, he has this stupid taunt in this game too. Owen Hart, MJF. Who else did I do? Aubrey Edwards. Yeah. And um, yeah, those did pretty well. So I may or may not do the pack one somewhere in the future, but let's just say a lot of people are more anxious, uh, anxious about uh, <laughs> certain other item. Which, uh, if, if I see any comments of when it's going to happen, I don't know. Probably in the middle of summer, <clears throat> at the end of summer, or um, sometime else. It's being move in season 18. I don't, I don't know. I haven't started recording it. Oh my god, he has this as a normal move in the game? That used to be a signature in um, 2K23. Um, Cody, where's your signature, dude? Okay. Okay. Fix the game, Kenny. <laughs> Fix the game. What is Cody's signature? Oh, there. I was like, what's Cody's signature? And he goes and does it. Or almost does it. Okay. 
chop. Get up. Get up. Okay. Cody. Signature. What is his damn signature? The Cody Cutter. Springboard to standing opponent. Or the figure four leg lock. Okay. <clears throat> Got it. So apparently, I gotta do a springboard for it. Like so. I don't remember how to do springboards in this game. I do not remember how to do them. So instead, we're gonna do a figure four leg lock. We're gonna see if we can get Tony Storm to tap out. It's probably not gonna happen, so I'm gonna break the hold. And I'm gonna do my opinion. Oh no, 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 don't, 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 don't ruin this for me, Tony! Don't ruin this for me, just like your DLC character ruined it. You're supposed to be timeless, Tony Storm, not Riot Squad or whatever, Tony, screw it. <laughs> now he has this signature in uh, WWE. Interesting. What the hell? <clears throat> what the hell? One, oh no. Two. I would have been so pissed. Um, the AI in this game is still tough, even on, like, normal difficulty, for some reason. Don't know why. Come on, Tony. Tony Storm, ladies and gentlemen. Timeless Tony Storm, I think she's doing a great thing. I think I, I'm happy that she's, uh, re revitalized her, uh, career. And I think Timeless Tony Storm is hilarious. I like the, uh, having her be in, like, black and white a lot when they do, like, a stare down with her and whoever. At the moment, she's feuding with Diana Perrazzo. And you know what I find real funny is when, um, <clears throat> the tribalism in, uh, AEW and WWE. Like, uh, there was one guy I saw, I read, when, um, Mercedes Monet got injured. Jared God, powerhouse hops. And they said, she needs to go back to WWE because she can't handle the uh, indie wrestling style. The following contest is then you know what happens? The moment she gets announced for AEW, he tweeted, I'm so glad Mercedes Monet is in AEW. CEO, CEO, CEO. And I'm like, dude, you just... You just bashed her to tell her to go back to WWE, but now that she's signed with AEW, now you're her fan? And, um, like I said, I like both companies. I want both companies to succeed. I'm actually very glad with uh, some direction that AEW is going right now. Because um, a lot of the times with AEW, they would just throw matches together and see what sticks to the wall. But now they're like doing video packages for reasons why people are wrestling and stuff. Or they just do a tournament just for the tournament. And don't get me wrong, their tournaments are great. But I like some of the stuff they're doing now. Like, um, even though they took a page out of WWE's book with the whole let's have a 20 minute promo to set up the main event for tonight, that's fine. It's fine. You know, as the old saying goes, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So. Again, it's a thing that works in another company. And yes, I get it. Imitation is a serious form of flattery and all that. But it's one of those things. Again, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And granted, it could get annoying. But I too noticed that like AEW used to just have matches just to have matches. But um, there are some things that kind of, kind of still are a little iffy. I'm glad... As much as like the gang gang, the gang bang scissor gang or whatever the heck they call themselves. I'm glad Bullet Club Gold turned back to heels because they said they were targeting Adam Cole and the devil. They said that one week and guess what? They never targeted him again. Okay, um, I'm trying to do the signature here. But it's not coming out. Okay, something... I need to remember how to do, um, whatever. I'll just get him with the, uh, hopefully get him 
with the crossroads. Yes! This is the best crossroads. Oh, it's so devastating in this game. And what sucks is that he does that in 2K24. Ah, oh, damn. But only in a cutscene in my rise. Like, it looks that devastating. That's the only thing I have an issue with in 2K24 when it comes to the crossroads. Even though it... It looks a whole lot, you know, more motion captured a lot better. But, um... Sometimes you can... You can go over the top to make the move sell, okay? Okay? 2K? I'm still glad. I'm glad that I should say Fight Forever is still getting updates. I said when the game, when I first started playing it with y'all, I said I see potential with the game. And that's what I see is potential. And now they're on Season 3. Granted, I could use more arenas. I like the uh, two they added, the day and night beach stage. I like they added Swerve, Claudio, and Jamie Haters around the corner. And um, hopefully we can get a collision arena. And technically we got to get a new Dynamite arena because Dynamite just got updated again. But hopefully, yeah, we can get a collision. And, um, hey, hey, the guy who's rumored to possibly be jumping to WWE soon. Huh, Jamie Hader right there. But yet, she's not playable yet. I love the fact that, I think they did it with Season 2 also. They literally updated the title screen just to get CM Punk out of it. Just like they did with the cover art of the game. They updated the cover art. Which is understandable because... I get it. You had CM Punk on there. That's great. But Kenny Omega totally deserves it. Front and center on the cover art. As he totally should have been there from the get-go. Because, um, again, granted Punk did quite a bit for AEW, but Kenny did a lot. And Kenny definitely deserves to be on the cover. Yeah, Kenny Omega originally was not on the cover of Fight Forever until after the CM Punk got suspended at uh, Brawl Out there. It's crazy to think, huh? One of the founding members of AEW wasn't on the cover. Granted, Cody isn't either, but that's fine. <laughs> he was in WWE at the time. It's kind of crazy, too, that Jade Cargill is going to be... In 2K24 as DLC. Makes me wonder if uh, they looked at her moveset in this game and was like, yeah, let's just do that. Because uh, she's only had one match as of this recording so far. Again, this is being recorded two weeks before WrestleMania, night one. And she's supposed to be making an appearance on the SmackDown before Mania, I believe. Or two weeks before it, I think. I think so, yeah. Because she signed with SmackDown. So maybe they'll set something up. There's rumors with her and Bianca, but... I think Bianca's too busy with damage control. And, um, Naomi. Unless they do a, uh... Naomi and Bianca and Jade against the rest of damage control. But, um... Oh, God! I hope I, I, hope I can beat... The Elite. Beat, beat, the Elite. The Elite. Beat the Elite! Nice drop kick, Cody. Give me that meter. Come on, Ricky. You've been training Jade, too, buddy. I saw the, I saw those posts. I saw you sneaking backstage, too. The WWE, which... Again, who cares? Britt Baker was backstage during a whole bunch of NXT takeovers. Punk was backstage out of Raw when he was in AEW at one point. Break his damn leg. <clears throat> because a whole bunch of them are friends and whatnot, so why not, right? I'm going to see if I can get a... Uh, I could probably get Ricky to tap out. Little old Ricky Starks. Oh, damn. Damn! No! No! This game is kind of BS too, because there's no way. Oh wait, never mind. I saw the damage on me. Aha! 
He's done. Okay, just get out of the ring. That's fine. It's fine. How dare you slap me, you bastard? I'll show you. <laughs> All right. Let's see if I can uh, beat Ricky here <clears throat> with the uh, Gringo Killer. I believe that's what that's called, right? Oh, I forgot Aubrey Edwards is here. Yeah! Ba -na 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 -na. Fun fact! I think I mentioned this. <clears throat> AEW Fight Forever, you were able to use Cody's theme on Create a Wrestler in the menu, and it played during matches too. Before WWE lets you use it for a creative character. And in the mid menu for 2K24 there. Just a little fun fact. This bout is set for one fall. Only on match four. Whew. Apologize for the squeaky chair. <clears throat> the American Nightmare. Dr. Britt Baker. Britt Baker, DMD. Do you have jumpstart? Why does everybody have jumpstart except for Cody? How dare you try to taunt me? But, um, some things I kind of dislike about AEW right now. Uh, the Undisputed Kingdom is as cold as friggin' ice right now. They they are nothing. They, except for Roderick Strong beating Orange Cassidy, which is great. I, Roderick Strong is doing amazing work, but they came out as a threatening force. Wardlow got beat by Joe in a curtain jerker match in Boston. <laughs> And now those guys are as cold as friggin' ice. Like they... S but uh, granted, Adam Cole did a promo about something. I, I, I don't know. I wasn't paying attention. I was like, I can't. I can't with these guys right now. Um, kind of wish that uh, Julia Hart and Mercedes Monet had a reason to be feuding. Because it looks like they're about to be feuding for the TBS title. Excuse me. But, um... Because, uh, nothing against Mercedes Monet. I think she's a great talent. But I don't think you should have just thrown her right in there for the mid-car belt. But then again, AEW does that a lot. I've noticed whenever they sign a new women wrestler, like they did it with Deanna Perrazzo, Aya Valkyrie, with, like, something. And, yeah, they just... Ruby Soho... And then uh, they just... I, I really hope Mercedes Monet does not get Ruby soho which she just vanishes to, like, granted, they don't have AEW Dark anymore, but... She doesn't. Like, she loses to Julia Hart, and then she just vanishes for, like, weeks and months at end. You know who needs to vanish for a little bit? I think somebody will agree with me, or everybody will. Uh, Jericho. Jericho's one of my all-time favorites. But he needs to go away for like a little bit like a month or two maybe even more because <clears throat> I'm um, getting kind of annoying <laughs> he's he's at every friggin pay-per-view yeah he hasn't missed a pay-per-view has he Jericho and um, he, he, he just needs to go away for a little bit I said, not for a long time, just just a little bit, like a month or two, maybe even three. At most. Oh crap! I did the wrong friggin' thing. Oh, come on, man! Come on, break it up! Thank you. Uh, we'll do this uh, pedigree, not pedigree, pile driver move. How do I move? Just do this to get her away from the ropes. One, <clears throat> two, three. Um, anything else I could say about AEW that I kind of hope they improve on? Here is your winner, Again, constructive criticism. I hope WWE improves on some other things too. Trust me. I like both products, okay? I'm not... Hey! This is the second DLC character we're facing. I'm not a tribalist or anything. 
I like both products, and I'll admit some faults with the other products. The following contest is set for one fall. Like, I'll even go as far to admit that I think AEW does put on better the matches the than WWE match. on a weekly basis. And his opponent. Which, uh... AEW kind of needs to stop doing that and save it for the pay-per-views. But, um... And I also like how AEW kind of rotates the roster a little better, because sometimes... It does feel like with WWE, we see the same, like, five or six people on the show. Granted, some of them don't wrestle every week. Looking at you, Cody. You're on my fantasy team and only wrestle, like, once a month. But I think I think I know why they're doing that. It's because they don't want to risk him getting injured before WrestleMania. The hell is that music playing? I turned music off. But, um... Another thing with AEW, I kind of hope they fix is um, maybe they can get rid of Rampage and or just get Rampage at a better time slot. Same thing with Collision. You got to get Collision off Saturday nights, man. Granted, some people will say it's really good on Saturday, but no, it, 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 there's a couple times you're gonna go up against a WWE premium live event, and you got to you got to get Collision off Saturday nights. And, uh, like I said, um, Rampage needs to get a better time slot, if anything. Dynamite does not need to be three hours long. They just did a special, uh, Rampage Dynamite three-hour spectacular. Dynamite does not need to be three hours. Stay away from three hours when it comes to Dynamite. Just stay away from it. AEW does not need that, or Dynamite does not need that. How do I drag his ass? There we go. There we go. Drag him away from the ropes. One, two. Another thing I will say I hope AEW does is, um, granted, I get my money's worth, and I like that. And granted, sometimes a lot of the matches are really good, but you need to cut back on some of those shows, like the uh, matches on uh, pay-per-views. Wow, nice, nice reversal. Because, um... <clears throat> Five-hour shows sometimes. Four to five hours. It's like, come on, man. And a lot of times, like I said, sometimes they're just squash matches or sometimes they're really great matches. Like, I'm not going to lie. I thought Kenny Omega... No, I, I can't remember most of these matches, but... I thought some of the cards were great, but the problem was the show was just too damn long. It's like... Granted, WWE's now only been doing, like, for certain shows, just five matches, but I think Mania is going to be, like, 14. That's across two nights, but also four hours each night because they said it's, like, seven starting time now. Which I think maybe... Maybe if if the matches for WWE were TakeOver-style levels... Huh? Do you want to play a winning game? Winning will give you an extra retry? No, no, no. We're already halfway through this, and uh, I've been trying to do this. Oh, another DLC character. Look at this a little faster. Oh, ho, ho, spoilers. I was originally going to do this right here one week, in which I try to beat the uh, creators with their creations. I was originally going to do that. I might still do it one day. Try to beat every single uh, created character that was put into this game. Which I think is a really great idea that they added that. Because I think um, what that tab was supposed to be for. They were trying to get like a working relationship with... Um, to get like maybe New Japan wrestlers and maybe CML wrestlers in the game. But... I think something might have fell through, so they're like, hey, let's just have uh, created wrestlers made by some wrestlers to be put into the game. I think that's a great idea, because um, you really need community creations on this thing. You need that in this game. Like, that should be one update, because you can make arenas and all that, but some people just don't have the time or patience, and this is why a lot of WWE 2K videos do so well, because community creations is just such a great idea 
They've been having that since, like, what? I don't know when. And then there's, there's a couple other wrestling games that have that, too. Fire Pro has that. Like if they can get that programmed into here, that'd be amazing. But um, also, if they can get other wrestlers to, like, make characters. Because I'll say this about that. It's kind of funny that the two best characters made is one as a joke character by Kenny Omega, which is that big hairy guy in his underwear. He comes out swinging a freaking bottle of vodka or something and explosions half everywhere. So he's like one of the best characters. And then the other one is Orange Cassidy's character, which Cass Cassidy really went above and beyond. Because his character actually looks really cool. Everyone else kind of, granted, again, more creation options would work. Everyone else's character kind of, eh. Like I feel bad for Adam Cole, Britt Baker, Nyla Rose. Their characters didn't turn out so good. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Cash. He's going to get this gun out. He's going to attack me. i got to be careful. Come here, Cash. Cash Wheeler! More like Cash Gun Wheeler. That should do it. Trying to get through these matches a little faster. Yeah! Spoilers, this won't be... I think I said this already, but this won't be the last time you see Cody this week. Let's just say... We'll be using Cody again in another wrestling game. <clears throat> Excuse me. Jeff Hardy. Jeff Harvey. The guy that has the best character model in the game besides maybe Sting. The following contest is set for one fall. Like facial model in the game besides Sting. Making his way to the ring. Is the American Cody doesn't really have a good one and uh his opponent. Kenny's facial model is awful. So is like but granted, again, they're trying to go for like an arcade look. Keith Lee's looks good and Dan Housings. And so does Hook. Like they're they're getting better. Um, I haven't got a chance to see Claudio in game. Swerve looks good too. Swerve's a lot of fun in the game too. <clears throat> so glad they put Swerve in. All you need now is just to have a uh, Prince Nana just to do the dance when he comes out, or when Swerve comes out, have that dance with the backup dancers. All right, Jeff. Show me what you got. <sighs> nice kick. Charlie Ho. <laughs> Bring it on. Almost done this. And before you ask, no, the, uh, like I said, we will be having another AEW video tomorrow. But it will not be another Beat the Elite video. No, I might... I might save that for another time, or I might not even do another Beat the Elite video, but let's just say the word Elite will be in it, and there will be another person from the Elite in it. And I said, a good hint is to look at some of the videos that have been uploaded already this week. Hooah! I'll do this, uh, shimmy. Ow. Get off of me, man. Ow. Okay. Ah! Straight up kick to the groin. <clears throat> Excuse me. Come on, Jeff. Show me what you got, you jerk ass. Drop kick. I'll do some push ups on you. Not. Aha! I'm not even going to bother. I'm trying to remember how you do springboard attacks. I think it's like. Nope. Nope, no, no, to get back in the ring. Nope. Nope. <laughs> I get back in the ring, but I forget the buttons. Like I said, it's been a while since I played this game. I'm just gonna do some push ups. Or not. Yeah! Oh, 
sick drop kick, yo. It's gonna shimmy, shimmy. Two. Jeff gets back in the ring. I'm gonna break him. Let's say if Jeff falls down, I'm gonna break him. Um, I got special or signature. Get off of me, That's what Jeff said. Oh, <laughs> break his leg. And there we go. No, stop running. Stop running the ropes, Cody. By the way, <laughs> spoilers for WWE 2K24's My Rise. I, I love the fact that the, the male mode is just basically Roman Reigns hates Cody Rhodes so much that he's going to make sure he never becomes champion. It's so funny. <laughs> it's so goddamn funny. Uh, wow, we've already been a half hour into this. I need to go faster. Doesn't help the fact the game's on a higher difficulty than the last time I played it. I'm just bringing Cody's uh, win loss record up better. Who's next? Please be Matt. Claudio. Cool. Haven't seen Claudio yet. <clears throat> so I'm going to see what Claudia looks like. I apologize for the uh, throat clearing. I need to do this real quick. I'll let the entrances play. This bout is set for one fall. Oh, I hope I edit that out. Making his way to the ring is the American Nightmare Cody. Cody Rhodes being the second wrestler ever to appear in a game, two different wrestling games in the same year. I believe the first one to do that was Chris Jericho with uh, WCW Mayhem, I think it was, and uh, WrestleMania 2000? Something like that. I know Jericho appeared in a WCW game when he was in WWE or F at the time. And a WWF game. I think it, I think it was WrestleMania because they just took his um, model from Revenge and ported him over to WrestleMania 2000. I think they kind of... No, they didn't do the same thing with the Big Show. They changed his face a little bit. But yeah, Jericho. Because he debuted like... What? A month before the game came out or something? WrestleMania 2000? And he was put into the game. I think. I'm not 100% sure about that. But I know Jericho did that before Cody last year with uh, 2K23 and Fight Forever here. By the way, <laughs> can we talk about the announcement of the release date for it? Kenny Omega just standing there shirtless like, by the way, this is when the game's coming out. It's like, Kenny, couldn't you be a little more professional? I mean, granted, we see you shirtless almost every week. Hope he's doing better with his uh, diverticulitis, which is the F5 in this game. Those of you that don't know, I guess you can call that being karma. <laughs> it's like, let's name a move after Brock Lesnar's thing that he suffered from in this game. And let's, uh, no, let's put Brock Lesnar's move in this game, but name it what the illness he suffered from. And then Kenny Omega. Hey, 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 hold on a second. Why the hell do you got a signature all of a sudden? Yeah, I thought so. Took you right out of it, didn't I? Claudio looks pretty good in this. <clears throat> Again, I apologize for the throat clearing. Oh, my God. I just realized because I'm facing Claudio here. Um, originally... I was going to do like WWE 2K22, 2K23, and 2K24, trying to beat the highest rated character with the lowest. But like I said, Eric Bischoff and Roman Reigns would have just been facing each other 90 times in the games. And my god, that roster in 2K22, oh my god, I totally forgot who the hell was in that game until I booted it up to take a look. You got Claudio in there, you got Samoa Joe, Keith Lee's in there, Kyle O'Reilly, 
Pete Dunn as Pete Dunn and not Butch. Mr. T, of course, was DLC. That was the first game also that I think have Logan Paul as DLC. But yeah, it is crazy. Like, it blew my mind. Like, wow, these guys were in this game. These guys were in this series. Nyla Rose. Because it blew my mind to know that those characters, Swerve, was in 2K22. Blew my mind because uh, that's when they got the new, what do you call there? System. The new fighting system to be more like a fighting game thing. And then there were updates for uh, 2K24, which we didn't get to see the hockey fights. She is the native beast. Ah! <laughs> she has a big freaking mouth. <laughs> All right, place your bets now. If I get past Nyla Rose, do I fight Kenny? Or do I fight one of the Bucks? I don't know if Hangman is one of the uh, ones you can fight at the end. I know Cody isn't. Because um, Cody kind of left the Elite, right? And started his own faction with the uh, Nightmare family in AEW. But I don't know if, because I also fought Cody with a uh, Punk, I believe, during a playthrough, right? The beat the elite playthrough with Punk. Just break your damn face! Just break it. Now the Rose is like, I made a character in the game. I guess I do have a uh, music on for the uh, stage here, because somebody's theme is playing. He's MJF. No, it's not MJF Steam playing. <clears throat> oh, it's freaking Jade Cargo Steam. That's why I was like, why does this theme sound familiar? It's Jade Steam. Oh, what a boot to the damn face. That's awesome. You know, maybe I also like this game a lot because they were trying to go for that No Mercy feel and. Yeah, when you play the game, it, it feels so good. Like, if you grew up in that, act, that time, it is basically like um, an updated version of No Mercy, which, um, in my opinion, I'm not going to lie when I say this, the best updated version of No Mercy's controllers might just be Def Jam Fight for New York, because that game was developed by, by them, Aki. And, uh, yeah, I apologize for how long this video is going. I could technically make Nyla Rose tap out. All I got to do is be very cheap like this. Because if you notice, her legs go up in damage. In fact, I'm going to try to make her tap out. Which I think will be right here. Because her legs are red. And I think she's going to tap. Yep. I could have just done that throughout the whole uh, playthrough. <laughs> yeah! Because when you got signature without using the special, you uh, basically have infinite signature until you get hit. It's Matthew Jackson! Almost said Matt Jackson. <laughs> Yo. All right, <clears throat> let's see if we can beat Mac Jackson. Beat the elite in this 40-minute video so far. Making his way to the ring. Oh, by the way, I love the tribalism also online. Because uh, those of you guys don't know, Sean Spears, a.k.a. Ty Dillinger, came back to NXT. But he's uh, doing his Sean Spears gimmick as the chairman. And whatnot. And of course, somebody online posted, LOL, Sean Spears is using his uh, AEW gimmick in WWE, which got him over, just like Cody's using his AEW gimmick, and Jade is. <clears throat> and they don't realize that uh, <laughs> Sting's been using his gimmick since freaking WCW. And not only that, there's a certain Canadian in AEW. 
who just recently became TNT champion, unless he loses it, that's basically using his same entrance, same theme song, same mannerisms. Hell, even the same nickname, just not the same ring name. That being Adam Copeland. So yeah, it's one of those things. If it works, again, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Sean Spears got over better as the chairman. Granted, I do like Ty Dillinger a little more because that gimmick's a little funnier to me. But... Oh, God! If it ain't broke and what got you over there, why not keep using it until you have to change it? Tony Storm. She was using her freaking punk rock gimmick in AEW for the beginning until she changes the social outcasts, or whatever the hell they were called. The rebel outcasts, the riot outcasts, something. Which reminds me, why is Soraya not in this game? Yeah, well, how's that, uh... Soraya signing. She hasn't wrestled since what? All in? No, she lost the title, of course, too. But um, again, if it ain't broke, if why not keep using the thing that got you over, right? Freaking Mercedes Monet is still using her Sasha Banks boss gimmick thing. CEO, which I'm gonna say it's an awful chance. I I can't I can't stand that chant. Or maybe it's just because at the beginning of her uh, song, they chant it eight times. Hopefully they um, lower it, but... They just, oh, man, when they... When they announced... Oh, God! Right in the cojones! Like, uh, of course, the uh, Mercedes Monet was the worst kept secret. They were trying to pull, like, the CM Punk thing. But them having them chant the CEO, CEO, eight times. Oh man, that was annoying. But, like I said, I'm not going to take anything away from Mercedes Monet. She's an amazing talent, and I hope she brings a lot of good to uh, AEW. And hopefully we can get some really good matches from her in AEW. I, of course, they're going to have the CEO versus the DMD, and that's going to be dueling chance. CEO, DMD, CEO, DMD. You just know what's going to happen. You just don't want to admit it. I got to beat Nick Jackson here with the American Crossroads, because I'll see Nick at the Crossroads. So you ain't lonely, Nick. I'll see you at the crossroads, so you ain't lonely. Yeah. Get up. And... Around we go. Good night! So cool. Pin! Do we beat the Elite? One. Two. Three. <clears throat> Excuse me. Ah, oh, we did it. We beat the Elite. I'm going to let this confetti go. We beat the Elite with Cody Rhodes. We did it. Just like we did with Punk last year. Look at that. What an awful thing to win. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed. Oh, we got more. Never mind. I hope you enjoyed this Beat the Elite during WrestleMania week. Again, we got one more AEW video for WrestleMania week. That's tomorrow. Which I haven't decided what I'm going to do. But it's going to involve Kenny Omega. Without a doubt. My name is Clickeroth. I thank you all so much for watching. And stay tuned to see if I can beat Kenny Omega. On the hardest difficulty in AEW Fight Forever.